Good afternoon. We start in Sydney where thousands of self-described freedom protesters have swarmed the city, calling for an end to lockdown. There were ugly scenes as demonstrators clashed with police, despite the state being in the grips of a spiralling COVID crisis. And as Tiffany Genders explains, at least 57 people were arrested. What started as a rally at Broadway at midday has swelled into a marching movement, a two-hour journey to Town Hall and back. As Sydney enters its fifth week of lockdown, it's clear a portion of the population don't believe it's justified. Thousands defying the public health order, travelling more than 10 kilometres from home to get here, and most are refusing to wear masks. Much of their anger directed to the hundreds of police trying to stop this gathering. There are officers on horseback, members of the public order and riot squad, traffic and highway patrol and rescue police, just to name a few. They were ordered to use as much force as necessary and their aim was to stop this protest from going ahead. But today, they were outnumbered. We witnessed dozens of arrests, including a man who lit a fire outside Town Hall. I'm from Bexley. So you're defying the, the health orders to... I'm allowed to go out. My boy is all right. I know you're the news, but... As Tiffany said, it has been a similar story in Melbourne today where thousands marched through the city, urging the government to free Victoria from stay-at-home orders. Maggie Rayworth was there. Thousands of protesters are right now swarming the city. They say they just want their voices heard. It's clear people here are tired of lockdowns today, calling for their freedom. Freedom! freedom. Protesters want lockdown number five to end now. various locations across the city, thousands have swarmed the streets. Let us just be free and enjoy our lives instead of being locked up in four walls. I, I want a choice and I want the choice to be mine. Our kids are worth the fight! No more lockdown! No more lockdown! angry and aimed their frustration at police. Hundreds of officers lined the streets, but they were clearly outnumbered. The media taking a hit too, some pointing their anger at anyone in their path. Today, very few masks were seen. Many here have planned to be arrested today, saying they want to show they're committed to their cause. Overall, 